against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. It's me, Raphael. What are you doing here, Miguel? I already been interrogated. Your friends came to pick me up after morning mass. I've just been released. Listen to me, Raphael. I have nothing to tell them. I have nothing to tell you. I need your help. My help? We're in opposite sides of the fence, Miguel. We grew up together, Raphael. You represent the soul and the hope of our people. I betray their trust. Now you feel ashamed. You're looking for absolution and you came here to confess. No, I haven't come to confess. I've come to tell you that you are on the president's list. And this time, they won't stop at simple torture. You'll be dead before the election. What is this? Names, dates, proof, a litany of horror. And the transcript of the president's plan to stay in power. It's more sinister than even you could imagine. You have to leave the country tonight. I'm not going anywhere. I've been fighting this regime for 20 years, and I'm going to be here when the president steps down from power. He has no intention of stepping down from power, not ever. If he can't manage to fix the polls, he's going to throw San Pedro into another civil war. It's all in the transcript. Who else knows about this? That's the president's inner circle. I was being groomed to become his presidential aide. And they know about me. What do you want me to do? What I can no longer do. Take it to the UN and let the world know. The Special Committee on Latin American Affairs meets the day before the election. The world press covers the open hearings. Everything depends on the timing. Will you go? You better leave now. Then you'll go. Yes. spend a couple of hundred million on the Tree Ford Corporation just to take it apart and sell it piecemeal. Anybody can do that. I bought it because I want to rebuild it. I hate to disagree with you, sir. Then don't. <clears throat> yeah. yes, Excuse me, sir. Vincenzo called from Rome. He said it was urgent. Uh, excuse me. If you please, gentlemen, it seems the meeting is adjourned. Shall I ring Vincenzo, sir? It seems you already have, Bennett. Of course, sir. 
Momento, per favore. It is Vincenzo on the line, sir. Vincenzo, buongiorno. Come sta? Bene, grazie, Alessandro. Thank you for calling back so quickly. What can I do for you? A friend needs your help. Who is this friend? Father Vera is in the Church of the Holy Angels in Boston. He has a meeting with a special UN Committee on Human Rights in three days. I was hoping you could make sure he gets to New York alive. Who wants him dead? A death squad. How long will this Father Vera be safe with the Holy Angels? I don't know. The church is not the Vatican. It does not have a Swiss guard. <laughs> Neither do I. How do you do what you do? With prayer? I never underestimate the power of prayer. Hold on. Suzanne, get me Peter right now. Vincenzo, tell me, what can a priest possibly reveal to a United Nations committee that the world doesn't already know? Father Vera's testimony could spark the torch that throws San Pedro's president out of power. I've sent the details. Non da tutto pazzo, si ammazzano, si uccidono, ed è chi li ciada. They should make a law to, to make everybody to play soccer. <laughs> sì, è quello sarebbe bello, sì. Making you an offer you can't refuse. Yeah, have you done this before? Never. Never? Mm, exploiting the beast in all of us. Checking on what your old friends are doing? No, I am looking for a new vacation spot. You'll have to wait. We have a date with a priest. Do me a favor, don't ever give her the razor again, okay? A priest? Uh, look, uh, does this mean at the altar? No, it means I have to alter my time off, Kavich. Luke, pay the man and let's get going. <sighs> uh, ciao. <laughs> That's good, keep it. So who's the priest? Huh? Father Vera arrived in Boston last night. He was sneaked out of San Pedro by an underground network that he helped to create. They've been flying political refugees out of there for years. Now, on Friday, San Pedro is holding its first democratic election in 20 years. Unfortunately, several prominent opposition candidates have already ended up dead. And the future looks even worse, whether the president wins or loses. Seems all these military dictators are holding free elections these days. So where do we fit in? You're going to get Father Vera to the UN in one piece. Shouldn't be a big problem. How many people know where Father Vera is now? Well, the pilot who flew him in, my friend of the Vatican, and the pastor of the church, Father Milady, who's expecting you this afternoon. Well, how about the kids chasing Father Vera? Are they smart enough to know where he is? No, you're not going to wait to find out. San Pedro has a diplomatic office in Boston. It's a small consulate run by Colonel Cortez. Peter, you're going to pay him a visit. <laughs> and I imagine you've already got a cover worked out for me? Oh, yes. You're going to present uh, the Colonel with a very attractive business deal from the Addington Group. Suzanne's worked it all out. Well, what sort of trade is Cortez looking for? Nuclear power plants. His government wants to propel San Pedro into the modern age. But first of all, he wants to expel any of the old opposition. Like Father Vera. All right. Papa, do you really think Father Vera's testimony can change anything? Why not? Truth can move mountains, you know. But he's just one man. Yes. But it's voices like Father Vera's that cut through the darkness. They can change the world. If he's not choked before he can speak. Thank you.
Julio. There's food for you in the vestry. I'm sorry to burden you with my troubles, Father Milady. Your burden is one we all share, Father. Now come and eat. You'll need your strength. We have friends coming soon. Are you all right, Father? Do you think any of these people are watching the church? Who knows? We got no idea who to look for. Mm. Could be a shooter in any one of those windows. And I'll tell you, if I was Father Vera, I wouldn't step outside the door to see if the sun is shining. Got any good ideas? Like bringing a platoon of mercenaries? <laughs> that's very funny. Maybe we ought to get married after all. Oh, now that's the best offer I've had all day. Senor Black, para ver Colonel Cortez. May I take your case? By all means. Nothing personal, Senor. Just routine. This way. Mr. Black, I'm Sal, Salome La Roja. I'm Colonel Cortez's assistant. Very pleased to meet you. The Colonel is very happy that you called. Would you come with me, please? Of course. This is Father Vera. I'm Nikki Beaumont. Rafael Vera. Luke Brenner. Are you from the United Nations? No, we're just your escorts. Who else in the congregation knows about Father Vera? Uh, no one. The church has been locked since he arrived last night. I was just about to cancel tonight's uh, marriage lessons. Oh, we were thinking it might be a good idea to hold them. All right. Who knows you here, Father Vera? Only Julio, the pilot who flew me from Costa Rica. He brought me here in a taxi after we landed. Well, where is he now? I don't know. Where's Father Vera? I don't know. Don't make this difficult. We know you flew him here. Your little sister says you're a reasonable man. You leave her alone. It's up to you, Julio. Where's Father Vera? We have been through a lot of turmoil over the past decades, as I'm sure you are well aware. But all that is behind us now. Thank God. Indeed, thank God. You are a skeptical, though you're too polite to say it. <laughs> Your business is money, not politics. What we are missing in San Pedro is modern technology. We need electricity. Well, nuclear reactors, Colonel, are dangerous in stable countries, in unstable countries. We are a stabilizer. But there are still some in my country who fight against progress. They try to sabotage every social gain we make. What exactly are you doing about that? Education, a social reform. The elections are just the first step. This is our chance, Senor Black, to show the world that we are sincere. Sincerity in the eyes of the world, Colonel, is a very noble sentiment, but quite frankly, 
My company is much more interested in your potential to make good on any investment we might make in San Pedro. <laughs> Quick and to the point. The famous corporate is style. I think we can do business. Maybe. Of course we can. So, give Senor Black our prospectus. Thank you. Very professional. May I keep this one? Of course. Anything you need, anything, just ask me or Salome. Don't worry, I will. And I'll read this very carefully. Perhaps the next time we meet, we could uh, entertain Mr. Black on the Stella Borealis. That would be very nice, but unfortunately, it's at sea. Colonel, can I assume that you personally supervise all your business here in Boston? Everything. In Boston and New York. The book is top secure. <laughs> I'm glad to know that. Are you sure this is the church? I swear on everything that's holy. Who's Father Vera going to talk to? The U.N. in New York uh, on Thursday. Don't <laughs> give me what I've done. Shut <laughs> Cortez has invited me to supper. Good. What do you make of him? Oh, he's smooth. He's a full colonel, all right, but he said he'd earn his rank in the field. As I know. He was educated at military school in Buenos Aires. Specialized in finance. I know all that. Go on. Well, I'll get JJ to fax their prospectus on San Pedro. Do you want me to check out anything specific? Only if you've got time. Oh, well, we're going to make the time. You're going to find out everything you can about Cortez. Anything that might embarrass his government. I thought that our principal task was just to get Father Vera to the UN. I mean, all this muckraking can take weeks. Your job, Peter, is to help the father reach his objective. That's all. Don't jump on me, Alex. Look, I know that Cortez is here to protect the best interests of his president. His president? That bastard? He spilt more blood, kidnapped, tortured more people than... Look, I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget what you've been through. Uh, anyway, Cortez's assistant called us to verify your references. And? Well, we told him that you're a very important man and that your personal approval would almost certainly guarantee a signed deal. Did Cortez like that? He was very impressed. So am I. And your plan to get the father out of the church? Well, it's all pretty straightforward. Luke and Nicky are going to tie the knot. Better to marry than to burn? It's only St. Paul's way of explaining not only the disorder of the Corinthians' moral code, it's also the celebration of the holiness of marriage. A union in God. But it's also a union in flesh. Come on, sit closer together. Sit closer together. Don't be afraid to embrace your partner in public. In fact, let's do that now. Everyone, embrace your partner. Come on, embrace your partner. Good. Don't look back. Very soon, all of you will be husbands and wives. Your wedding ring will be a symbol of your love. Your charity and love for each other will be the living testimony of your marriage. And marriage is about a very special kind of love. Now, if two people come to the altar of God and say to each other, let us join together for the rest of our lives, for better or for worse. What do they really say? 
That if this marriage doesn't work, we're going to bail out and try again? They're saying that we are committing to each other for the rest of our lives. St. Paul said, abideth faith, hope, charity. But of these, charity is the greatest. Love one another. You ought to say your prayers. We just want to deliver a message. Get up! And walk out real slow. Got a feeling I'm gonna be seeing you again. And I'll know you. Yeah. Why didn't you just shoot them all? Why didn't you just cut his throat? I guess I've just been hanging around you too long, haven't I? It's my mother. They brought her from San Pedro. The picture hasn't been retouched. It was taken here in Boston. It's the university in the background. I don't have to be a genius to figure out what the picture means. Father talks, they kill her. Where are you going? I got to find her. No, no. If you find who's holding her, you're both dead. That's exactly what they want. It's a risk I have to take. No, you don't. What are you going to do about it? Those men are animals. They don't make idle threats. They're not going to harm your mother while they need her to get to you. Last week, they cut off the fingers of an old man. The message was clear. This is what happens when you vote against the president. So just give us till tomorrow. We'll find her. And if you don't... <gasps> uh, Father! Please get some rest. You need all your strength. What's wrong with him? I have no idea. You think Cortez knows where his mother is? Why don't you ask him? Maybe I will. San Pedro is a microcosm of South America, with all its beauty and all its terror. Rage and violence are always just below the surface. Yes, on that subject, Colonel, do you know who killed Lieutenant Horda? Not yet. But my government is working on it. We will find the guilty ones. Well, the papers say that it was rebel troops, terrorists. Do you believe that? You are not a Latin, Senor Black. We believe very little. And what about the missing priest? For all I know, he's dead. The only chance we have of saving his life is getting the terrorists who killed Lieutenant Horda. But I understand that this uh, Father Vera is an outspoken critic of your government. If that's so, why would the rebels want to kill him? Who knows? To make it look like my government did it? Perhaps simply to embarrass my government? Terrorists are not like you and me. For them, life is cheap. President of San Pedro claims that terrorists are trying to tarnish his vision. Can you believe this stuff? Uh... Uh, uh. No. Uh. Are you all right, Father? Uh, uh, uh. It's just a bad dream. I'm not surprised. I hope my country's dishes are not too hot for you, Mr. Black. I'm sure. Nothing is too hard for our senior black. Excuse me, Colonel. May I have a word with you? You must excuse me. I have to beg your indulgence. I must leave. 
diplomatic business. Can we talk tomorrow? Yes, of course. Perhaps you can see that child gets safely home. American cities can be very dangerous for a woman alone. It will be my pleasure. Ciao. Do you worry about your wife in America? I'm not married. Neither am I. Are you close to the Colonel? I never mix business with pleasure. I spoke to the president. Did you call the president? I didn't authorize that. He called me. What did he want? Just a progress report. I hope you told him how you were screwed up getting the priest. I didn't have to, Colonel. He already had your report. Would you like to come in? I thought you'd mix business with pleasure. Business is over. So, is this place yours? No. It belongs to my government. And does your Colonel Cortez stay? Here? No. We're all alone. Good. Where does your boss live? Oh, he doesn't tell anyone. My government owns a lot of property in Boston. Hmm. Huh. Estella Borealis. Do you like boats? I'm good on the water. Somehow, I think you would be good anywhere. We do a lot of entertaining on the Stella. We make a lot of friends that way. I'm sure you do. It is here in the harbor now. I could organize a cruise, maybe take you on a short trip. How about a long one? The colonel isn't the one holding the priest's mother. He's our strongest connection. He's ambitious, therefore he's vulnerable. The colonel has expensive tastes and he's using the president's money to satisfy them. Right, so we nail Cortez for ripping off dirty money from his Presidente. <laughs> That's one way of putting it, Luke. Suzanne is sending an inventory of all uh, Cortez's private investments. That should be very interesting. Oh, I'm sure you'll all make good use of them. Link out. We will. Uh, 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 uh. He's burning up. Get some water and a sponge. We have to try and cool him down. Uh, uh. Oh, my God. Uh. Smash cuts. Oh, man. Uh. This is bad. The infection is causing the fever. We have to get him to a hospital. Better hurry up, or he ain't gonna see the morning. I'll get an ambulance. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, shoot. Okay, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. Business. Yes. Six one nine in OR. Please respond to me. Okay. Six one nine in OR. 
All right, here we go. According to the Port Authority, the yacht docked two days ago. It's called the Stella Borealis. Stella Borealis. Stella Borealis. It's a long shot, Luke, but check it out. Right. Let me see that list again. I don't believe this. How could Cortes personally own so much expensive property in Boston? Even Alexander was impressed. Well, I don't imagine his president will be. Not if he's doing it at the president's expense. Stay with the priest. Where are you going? Since we know about Cortez's interest in real estate, it's time to do a deal. Dr. Appleby, please report to the nurse's lounge. Dr. Appleby, to the nurse's lounge. Dr. Purdy, please call radiology. Dr. Purdy, please call radiology. What is so urgent, Senor Black? I may be able to help with your political problem. <laughs> Which political problem? Sit, please. The missing priest? What do you know about him? Well, in my position, Colonel, it's very important that I know everything about the people and indeed the country with which I do business. Father Vera is our problem. It is a political issue. It has nothing to do with you. Our corporation has survived changes in governments left, right and center. Your country's political stability has absolutely everything to do with our potential deal. We don't like embarrassing situations. Presidents come and presidents go. What are you suggesting? We're looking for a good man, Colonel. Someone who really understands business. Someone perhaps just like yourself. I might be able to arrange a meeting with the priest. What's in it for you, Senor Black? My company simply requires the exclusive rights to supply your power needs and to be consulted on any major business acquisition that you might wish to set up in San Pedro. Do you want a monopoly? Yes. And with this, you will arrange a meeting with Father Vera? Yes. To drive a hard bargain, Senor Black? One that benefits us both. After all, Colonel, it'll be absolutely impossible to close this deal if Father Vera could cause any unwanted problem. And regarding your own personal desire for real estate, we could help with that, too. But you don't miss your trick, do you? How did you find out? We have friends everywhere. Nikki, tell Peter she might be on the boat. Why? Remember the guy who attacked me in the church? He's guarding this boat. Can you get on? Honey, would I disappoint you? Did you find my mom? I have to find my She's mom. She's gonna be fine. She's gonna be fine. She's gonna be fine. <laughs> Where is my son? He'll be here soon, Senora Vera. Is he all right? Yes. I was told Rafael would be here. He will be. We sent him a message. Don't worry. You'll see him soon. So how do we deal with our political problems, Senor Black, when a meeting has already been scheduled at the UN? Nothing is carved in stone, Colonel, except perhaps the commandments. No, we should simply convince Father Vera to cancel his meeting. We think I like. Hmm. Hmm. I think this may be the beginning of a very rewarding partnership. Salud. Salud. I hope Salome took care of some of your concerns. 
Somerton. She is a beautiful woman and very ambitious. I think you should keep her out of this. I'm not a fool, Senor Black. Women can be dangerous, especially when they know too much. When can you deliver Father Vera? I'll talk to my people, but I imagine we could arrange something almost immediately. I told you not to come till I was ready. Marco, what the hell are you doing here? My job. Your job is what I tell you. Not anymore. Not after the president hears your conversation with Mr. Black. I think you better tell me where the priest is, Mr. Black. This is not San Pedro. No. It's not. If it was, you'd be dead already. What are you doing dressed? You shouldn't be up. Have you found my mother? No, not yet. I'd like to go to the chapel. Oh, no, no, you come. I'll come with you. Six one nine Immediately, 619 in OR. Dr. Rosen, please report to operating room 12. Dr. Reisman, please report to pediatrics. Dr. Reisman to pediatrics. my business with my pleasure. Neither do I. Dr. Sanders to urology. Dr. Sanders to urology. Dr. Sheridan, call 6A, please. Dr. Sheridan, call 6A. Father Vera? This is Rafael Vera. I need to talk to someone in charge. The patient in 22, did you see him? Don Herder. That's up to you, Father. Looks like Father Bear is coming, Mr. Black. If you'd been listening properly, that's exactly what I was arranging with Colonel Cortez. I was going to tell you everything, and the President. Shut up! Another word and I blow your head off. Pinto, go pick up the priest. He's taking a taxi to the harbor gates. Don't 
play with me, Mr. Black. I am not Cortez. I don't believe in coincidences. Yesterday, Pinto gets jumped in the church by a false priest. Today, you offer Cortez the real priest. Where's your friend? The one who nearly cut Pinto in the church. I have no idea what you're talking about. <gasps> Try to remember. Marco, no, don't. He can help us. We don't need his help. Since when do whores care about their clients? He could have been special to me, some of me. Ready to talk? You've got until Pinto gets back. He won't be long. Boston Tea Party. What? This is Boston, the Boston Harbor. <sighs> Let Mrs. Vera go. The priest won't speak at the UN. I know. back with the priest, Mr. Black. Pinto knows how to get information. Even from you. Progressive Army generals are still occupying the President's palace as jubilant citizens cast their vote in the country's first free election in 20 years. The general stormed the palace yesterday after hearing about the dictator's plan to start a civil war by killing several of their number on election day. The fate of the President is unknown. I guess the President is going to lose all his condos. <laughs> He's going to lose a lot more than that. Uh, Peter ought to be heading out of Rome by now. Suzanne, will you get him for me, please? Hey, Chief, uh, what's going to happen to Salome? She was sure a nice piece of work, huh? Salome is sorting out matters at the consulate in Boston. Is Father Vera returning to San Pedro? Yes. As bishop. Super. As soon as Rome has finished debriefing him. He said that he hoped we'd all visit him as soon as the troubles were over. You know, maybe we ought to say a little prayer for him. I didn't know you prayed. Oh, yeah. Of course he does, when he wants something. <laughs> Peter, when are we going to see you in person? A uh, couple of days. Hey, is uh, Solomon going to be waiting for you in Boston there, big guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, young man, she is not. I'll try to get back as soon as you can. I'll try. Sir. Link out. To democracy. <laughs> 
democracy. It's quite a simple thing, really. I suppose therein lies its strength and its weakness. Because when we take it for granted, as we always do, that's when we begin to lose it. Miss the point. 